In 2020, the coronavirus spread to every corner of the world. It has become a sensitive word for everyone. By the time in March, New York was put on a severe epidemic alert. On the afternoon of March 13, President Trump declared a national emergency, which is considered to be his shift of attitude towards the epidemic prevention. To unleash the full power of the federal government in this effort today, I am officially declaring a national emergency. Two very big words. The action I am taking will open up access to up to $50 billion of very importantly, very important and a large amount of money for states and territories and localities in our shared fight against this disease. All of the people are living through a global public health crisis that is spreading with unprecedented speed and scale. Right now, I'm standing in Brooklyn. Behind me is Chinatown, Manhattan, New York. It is quite an empty. The world's largest city seems to have lost its prosperity compared with its past. Since the epidermis has covered New York, vivid color seems to disappear in the city. Lots of Americans are experiencing something different. On March 7th, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo declared a state of emergency after 89 cases had been confirmed in the state. When we say you are on precautionary quarantine, that is a serious situation. We are assuming that you will act in good faith and that you will be following the rules of voluntary quarantine. By March 31st, there have been 174,750 confirmed cases. 3,402 deaths and 6,215 people have recovered in the United States. But New York City remains at the center of the coronavirus in the United States, which has the most confirmed cases in the U.S. There are now 75,795 confirmed along with a total of 1,550 deaths on March 31st. The city's blessing streets thriving public transit, densest population made it easier for the rapid spread. New York, I believe we can get through this situation. New York, we're waiting for you to come back.